Hey guys, uh, this is Darren Pitt here, and uh, I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel, uh, LinkedIn Mastery. And today I'm going to be giving you uh, a very easy tip on terms of how to uh, edit your profile picture for LinkedIn. Okay. Now I do want to encourage you. Make sure if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel so you can continue to get great tips like this. Uh, also connect with me on Facebook if you haven't already connected. Uh, make sure to connect with me on Facebook. And um, I'll leave some links down below so you can do that. And definitely, you want to be connected with me on LinkedIn, right? Because, guys, LinkedIn is the powerhouse. It is the number one source for quality traffic leads and sales for your business, okay? All right. So with that being said, um, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking at a friend's profile, all right? And I'm going to be showing you how to edit a photo uh, that you may have. And maybe you don't have the, the, the time or the opportunity, or maybe you don't have the money to go and get a professional photo then. Uh, so that you can put up on your uh, LinkedIn profile. So I'm going to show you a very quick and easy method of um, pretty much altering a photo that you already have to make it look more professional. Okay, guys. So right now, this is my friend Lakeisha. Hey, Lakeisha. Everybody, hey, Lakeisha. Right. And she has this great photo here. Uh, only, only thing is, you know, there's a lot going on in the background. As I mentioned before in one of my earlier trainings, that. You don't want to have too many things. While it's a very nice background, you want to have a clean shot of you. All right. So we're going to look at how we're going to edit this photo. Uh, so then she will be able to have that photo for her to upload to her profile. So it looks very crisp, very clean, very professional. All right. So what I'm going to be using today, I'm not going to be using any of those really uh, difficult, you know, graphic design software. I'm going to show you a very easy, easy software that almost everyone has right now. And you're going to be able to use this software in a sense. You don't have to be a professional graphic designer to do quality or uh, edit proof for your photos and, and make it look crisp and neat. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to fire up PowerPoint. Now I'm using PowerPoint 2010, and you want to be using PowerPoint 2010 because this has a lot of features that some of the earlier versions does not have. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to import her photo. So what I do is go to insert. I'm going to click on picture so that we can select a picture. And I have her picture. I just downloaded it. So I'm going to go ahead, click on her picture, click insert. So now here we have her photo. Okay. I'm going to put this here just so that you can see it. So this is her photo. And as I said, it looks great. But what we want to do is that we want to take care of this background. We want to move this background. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do up here to the very top. Uh, you're going to see picture tools, all right? I'm just going to shift this so you can see a little bit better. All right, so you see picture tools. When you click on the picture, this option comes out. If I click off, you, you realize it's gone. So you have to click on the picture, you see picture tools. Now, on the picture tools, you would click the word format, okay? And when you click the word format, you now have all of these options showing up here. Now, the option that you want to use is the one that says remove background. So if you go ahead and you just click that button, remove background, what it does, if you notice, it just highlighted everything in purple that it taught was a background. Now, if you look at this, we're realizing it's cutting off um, parts of her hair, um, cutting off parts of her hand. So if we just go ahead and we hit Keep Changes, you notice this is not really what we want, okay? This is, does not look professional by any means, all right? So we're going to go ahead and go back to click Remove Background. We're going to discard all changes, and there you go. We have our photo back. So let's get down to editing to make this picture look like a professional profile photo, like if it was done by your uh, local photographer, okay? So we're going to go back, click on Remove Backgrounds. So now, again, it highlights the areas it considers backgrounds. But what we're going to do now is that we're just going to go ahead and we're going to drag the edges of the section here, and we want to see how much of this picture we want to keep. For now, let's, we, we're going to go ahead and we want to keep the entire length of the photo, all right? So what it's doing now, everywhere that I drag, it's actually revealing a little bit more of the photo and keeping it, all right? So now, if we take notice, uh, her hand is back, but there are some things here that we don't want. We have these bushes in the back here, her belt is being taken away, and her lovely hair is also being taken away. So we're going to fix that, all right? So the way that you fix that, there's some icons up here. It has mark areas to keep mark areas to remove and delete mark 
and then keep changing. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to mark areas to remove. So we click on this button, and now you notice it turns to a little pencil, all right? Now this little pencil, all you're going to do is left click an area and drag, and boom, there you go. So now that area is marked to be removed from the photo. Then I'll do the same thing down here. Right, I'll do the same thing right here. I'll do the same thing right here. That looks like that doesn't look like a part of her dress. Okay. And next I want to mark the areas to keep. So I click the icon up here and I'm gonna try to get her here as best as I can. This doesn't have to be accurate, you just have to mark it enough. PowerPoint is pretty good at um selecting uh, some of these areas. I'm going to see if I can catch this little piece of her hair right here. All right. Um, I think she has some earrings, so I'll see if I can catch that right there. And uh, I'll see if I can catch a little bit more of her hair right here. All right. And I think that's about does it, right? Let's see. Uh, oh, her belt, right? We can't leave her belt out. I mean, let's add some flair to her dress. All right, so we're going to go ahead and drag that across there. So, boom, we got her whole belt. Now, I think a little portion of her legs, all right? We're going to just drag that there, and there you go. So now, this looks great, all right? This looks like we caught everything. Uh, it doesn't look like anything is missing right here. I'll just mark this little area. Okay, so it looks perfect. And what I want to do next is click on Keep Changes. So when you look at this, now we have a very professional photo uh, with no background, no distractions whatsoever. Now from here, what you can do is actually um, use these different uh, icons up here and we can do some pretty neat things in PowerPoint, okay? Like if you wanted to stand out, I mean that looks pretty good. Uh, this looks pretty good so you can actually add a little shadow, all right? So and we have numerous options guys. Uh, if you wanted to Make it look a little bit more crisp. All right, we can even add a little bit of black background if we wanted to. Uh, let's see. Let's let's pick something nice for Lakeisha because she's gonna she's gonna be using this on her profile. Got a movie style shot. All right. Okay. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use uh, this shot and we're gonna zoom. I want to actually bring this out a little bit. Okay. Uh, no, let's, let's, let's zoom it back here. All right. So now, here it is. You have a very nice professional photo. Nice design. When this is uploaded, it will be in this frame. And what you want to do to save this photo, you right click. And you click Save as Picture. I'm going to go ahead and save this uh, in my pictures library. Name the file. Uh, so we named it Lakeisha's LinkedIn profile pic. Okay. And we're going to save. And I notice it's being saved as a PNG. So we go ahead and we save that. Now, if I go now and I open up pictures, I now have. The teacher's photo, very professionally done. And I'm going to be sending this to her to upload to her profile. And there you have it, guys. That's a very quick and easy way for you to edit a current photo that you have and uh, make it look great uh, without having to know graphic design. All right, guys. So, again, make sure subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tips and tricks like this. And definitely like my page on Facebook. I'll leave the links down below. You definitely want to check that out. And um, I'll see you again, all right? Have a great day, guys.